Hello. <laughs> it's good to see you. Today we are going to be wrapping Christmas presents. And this is the first one right here. Now this is a set of products from Olivia Grace. It's kind of hard to see because it actually has this light pink mesh bag containing everything. But we have Rose Body Wash, Rose Body Mist, Rose Body Lotion, and a plastic puff, like a little shower puff right here. And it comes in this little zippered pouch. So we are going to wrap this. to wrap this one, I have chosen some pretty gold paper that says Happy Holidays on it. Alright. I'm already getting stuff on my table. <laughs> First you want to roll it out. And now you want the seam to be on the underside of your present. So we're going to have to flip this over. That way, like that. Okay, now you want to make sure you have enough paper to cover it this way and this way. We have plenty in this way. paper here. We don't need this much. It's too much. I want to leave enough here to cover the sides, but I don't really need any more than that. Maybe about here, and I want about the same over here. be about in the middle so I just kind of slid it kind of like a like tank tracks you can just do it like that until you get it where you want it make sure it's even now I'm using just plain scotch matte finished magic tape a lot of people like to glue the paper or use double stick tape so the tape doesn't show because you can put it on the underside. I'm not that ambitious, so I'm just going to use this. But of course, you do your presents any way you want to. Because if it's a way that works for you, that's the right way to do it. Okay. So now we have, we have it covered, but we have these sides over here, you see? This is the paper that we've left on the sides, and we're just going to push it down. Now it's not a perfect rectangle, it's angled over here, so you just have to account for that. Just going to push it down. I left a little bit too much. That's okay. You can always cut it again, or you can just leave it. Make a little 
angle there. And you just fold it in like a crease. This one's going to be a little weird because it comes down more. Fold it in, make a little crease there. And then you can bring it up. Now remember, this is the underside of the package, so it doesn't matter what it looks like here. You can do anything you need to. Now that's going to hold that down. You can add a little extra tape if you want to. And then we turn it this way. We have the same thing over here. I didn't leave as much paper on this side. So you just take this part here, fold it down, and that's going to sort of pinch it over here. You just make a crease, another crease over here. You just fold that in, make a crease there. And then take this bottom part up. I'll put one tape, one piece there to hold it. Another piece on the side. And another one there. gift tags on these presents but I'm not going to fill them out so I don't have a repeat of last year where someone watching my videos told my son what he was getting for Christmas this isn't his but I've written down on this piece of paper what the codes mean but I'm just gonna put a post-it note on here and one of these tags look at these pretty tags these are handmade gift tags um, and about last year after Christmas. I'm just going to cut those open. And I think we have two of each design, or well, no, three, it looks like. Okay. We're going to place one of those on here. I'm going to look on here and see who this is for. Alright. And then I will fill it out later. Now we have a bow. I purchased a bag of Merry Moments bows. These are from, these are from Aldi. And you can get this bag of 30 lovely bows for only $1.99. It's a nice variety in there. Let's do a red one. So you have your adhesive backing here. It's covered with a piece of wax paper. You're going to remove that. Now the way I apply bows so you don't crush the bow, I kind of stick my finger down in there so I can apply pressure to the adhesive without crushing the bow. Should have done the wrapping paper the other way because now it's upside down but it doesn't matter this is perfect the person who gets it is not going to care <laughs> all right there's the first this is my first pres wrapped present of 2020 this is very exciting <laughs> okay the next thing we have this is for i'm i've bought several presents for someone who likes to bake and this is one of them these are silicone stretch lids from Crofton. I found these at Aldi. 
I thought this would be something that would come in handy. See, they're reusable, and you can use these instead of plastic wrap over your bowls. It's a set of three different size lids. Very cool. How do we wrap that? Actually, I have an idea. In just a moment. Here's my idea. We're going to use a gift box for this um, because it's, you see, it's, it's round, so I just think it would be easier to wrap it in there. Plus, it will allow me to add another thing that I wanted to give her. I found these the other day. These are so cute. They're little uh, masks, but they have little cooking utensils on them. Whisks and spatulas and rolling pins and things. And another one. They're all different designs, but they're all related to cooking. And I thought she would really like these. I really like this one. This is pretty. So it will allow me to place these in here because I wasn't sure how to wrap these anyway. <laughs> They're so cute. Look at that. I found these at Dollar Tree. Um, and these are wonderful masks. I really like them. But they're just so cute. Look. So we can put these in here with the silicone stretch lids. Now. When you're using a gift box, I'm going to show you what I do. Now, when you open it up, okay, this is the bottom part here. And, of course, it has a pretty design on it, so you don't have to wrap it. But y'all like it when I wrap things, so we're going to wrap this. Okay. You're going to open it up. This is, again, the bottom part. But you'll notice when you open it, it just stays kind of buckled on the sides, like that. You can fix that with a little bit of tape. We're just going to take a little bit of tape and just sort of reinforce these corners here, or the sides. And we're going to do the same thing to the lid. See how straight that is? Sometimes you have to kind of press it with your finger to kind of, you know, keep it, or it will pop loose. Of course, this step is totally optional, but I do find that it makes it easier to get the lid on the box if it's straight like that. Because when it buckles, the lid sits on it weird. Okay. Now, look, you see? See how straight that is? It's all nice and even. Here's what it looks like if you don't do that. See, it just kind of stays, it just stays like that. So we're going to do the same thing to the top. It's a beautiful day out, so you're going to hear a lot of uh, little prop planes going for a joy ride. People fly over here a lot. And their little cub cadets or whatever they've got. It's very common here. There's the top part. Now we want to make sure that we're placing the presents in there the right way, so just make sure you have the bottom part. Now we're going to put some tissue paper in here. So I have this really pretty wrapping paper. It has little, little red trees on it, and it kind of has a metallic look to the little red trees. Do one piece of red. Fold 
fold it over the brown with the pretty trees will be on top. this way if you want to get fancy with it. I'm going to leave it. Okay. So you can place this in there. Let's stick these under it. You could always just tape the sides of this and put a bow on it and, and call it good, but we're going to go ahead and wrap it. Okay, for this one, I've chosen a really pretty plaid paper. It kind of has a shiny finish to it. So, let's roll it out. See, I like this paper because it has grid lines. It makes it so much easier to cut. Now, I tried to place the box in here, so I used the least amount of paper. So if you turn it this way, it's going to have to be longer. Or, actually, no, it wouldn't for this one. If we do it this way, we can easily cover it that way. So we only need this much paper. But you need to make sure you leave enough on the sides to cover the sides. Again, we don't want we don't want the seam on the top, so we want to flip the box over. And we're probably gonna have to trim some paper this way. has a silver stripe. You can leave it if you want. I think it's actually kind of pretty. <laughs> and we'll cover it up. Make sure your paper is even. Now you notice we're not putting any tape on the actual box itself. We're only putting tape on the paper. your tape placement, you do whatever works for you. Usually, well, depending on the size of the box, I'll put one kind of close to the edge, one in the middle, and then one close to down near the other edge. Okay, now we have the sides over here. And again, we're just going to 
I'm going to even it up. There. Press it down like this. And then you can have these little sides. You just kind of crease the side. Crease that side. And then fold it in. Fold it in. And then you crease it down here. Then you're going to fold it up and tape it. These little pieces are sticking out and you don't like it you can just stick a little piece of tape on there too okay. and then we do the same thing over here on this side crease it push it down crease it Hold it in and crease it. Like that. And then you take this bottom piece and fold it up. Place your tape. Whatever works for you. Then we're going to turn it over and see. Very nice. So we will select, let's use this tag on there. Right there. And then we're going to pick a bow. How about a pretty green bow? That one. We're making them colorful this year. Normally, I try to coordinate the bow with the colors in the package, but I'm not doing that right now. So you take the wax paper off the back of the bow. And again, I just kind of stick my finger down in there so I don't have to squish it. And attach it. And there you have it. A nice lovely present. I think it looks pretty good. Let's see. All right. We're done with that one. <laughs> okay, our next item. These are really cute socks. Look at these little socks. Look at these. Aren't they adorable? <laughs> We have one, two, three, four, five pairs, and they're all rolled up nice and cute. I found these on Amazon. Okay. So we're going to wrap these. Let me see. This is a longer roll of paper, but look at it. It has little creatures on it. A little polar bear and a fox and a sloth, and a hedgehog, and a deer. So cute. This is how I store my paper. This is from last year. I just take a scrap of leftover paper, and I wrap it around the roll, and I put a little tape on it, and that way it holds it together, so it doesn't, it, it won't come unraveled. Okay, now this is a longer roll, so this is going to have to be turned this way, I think. It did, it did get a little tear in it, but that's okay. Now, I think we're going to have enough to... We should have plenty to fold it over this way. So, we're going to position it here. And we're going to make sure to cut it so we have enough to cover this side. Let's see. Okay, now this is... The so we want to flip it over. Like that. We can 
and trim a bunch of this paper off here. If you're trimming paper and it, like say you're, if it doesn't have grid, grid lines or you're looking at it on the front you can usually just pick part of the pattern to keep your line straight like this time when I cut it I was making sure to cut just under the hedgehog's feet so you just you're just gonna go along under the hedgehog's feet and that should help keep it keep it straight Now we do have that tear right here. I'm just going to put a little piece of tape on it and I think that will work. Okay. Right about, I don't want it to stick out over here. I'm just going to put a little piece right there. And we're able to pull it out this way. Make sure your paper is straight. You can actually pinch it like this and just kind of slide it to straighten it. Make sure it's not too loose on there, but you don't want it super tight either. Oops. Okay. I'm just going to put one piece right in the middle because this is kind of short. It's kind of skinny this way. Again, we're going to fold it increase it just like that fold it in that way here and then we can fold it up this way Same thing with this side. Just fold it in that way. And you crease it. Fold it again. Crease it. Ooh, I cut it kind of ragged, didn't I? <laughs> Let me trim that up. I didn't realize I did that. Now we can tape it. Okay, so we've trimmed that. We'll just bring it up. Place our tape. Okay, then we flip it over. And there we have our socks. <laughs> Very cute. Let's use this one. It says Christmas fun. And a little burgundy bow for this. Well, I want to put it just above the tag, but where you can still open the, the tag and read it. I just put my finger down in the bow and just press it down. So there we have some nice socks. Now the next one, we have two men's base layer crew neck shirts. See they're long sleeve and they dry, they have moisture wicking. They have dry quick fabric. And I got these from Aldi. They are Crane, which is an Aldi brand. I have a black one and a gray one. And these are going to the same person. So we're just going to stack these together and just wrap them like this. So they're just going to be like that. And I brought back the Velociraptor paper 
It's Christmassy. See, it has snowflakes on it. The person I'm giving it to will like that. <laughs> okay. So this again is a long roll of paper. So let's see how we need to do this. See, we can place them this way and have plenty of paper to go over this way and we won't have to use much paper at all. thinking we can cut. I want enough to go up over the sides, so I'm thinking we can just cut it about right there. Alright, so we're just going to measure and cut. and cut some of this paper. Let's make sure you straighten the paper. And since we have two things stacked in here, you want to make sure that they stay stacked straight so they're not leaning over. Okay. So now, let me slide those over, I'm trying to even them up. Make sure you have enough paper on both sides. And then you place your tape. Okay, now when you're doing this, you want to make sure not to push on it too much because, again, you have two things stacked up in here, so you don't want one of them to slide. You want to keep them together. So I'm trying to handle it very carefully. Now that we've done that, this side you can handle a little bit more uh, normally because it's it's taped back here, so you don't have to worry about them sliding back. So you press it down, crease it, fold it in, and then you crease it down here. I found this wrapping paper last year at Target. It's uh, Jurassic World Christmas paper. <laughs> I thought it was pretty cool. Okay. All right. There we have the shirts. We'll pick a tag. Let's put a little snowman on there. You'll feel right at home with the snowflakes and the little gloss raptor, I'm sure. Okay. And a bow. Here's a big fluffy white one. Oh, even the bow, you can't really see it, but it has little snowflakes embossed on the ribbon. That's neat. Has a little piece of adhesive. Oops. Okay. And there we have a nice little gift. Look at that. 
All right, let me put a little note on there. Who is that for? All right, there's our next present. Here's our, ne our next gift. This one is a little play set that's double-sided, you see? And um, this is a larger one. Now this is from Crane, which I found these at, this at Aldi. I think it was $12.99. So let's pick some paper. I think again we'll go with this plaid paper. It's a huge roll. I just got it last year. Let's see how we need to do this. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it upside down. I don't know if I have enough to do it this way, but we're gonna try. So you wanna measure and make sure you have enough paper on this to cover the sides. if this is going to work. Oh, it's perfect. You want to even up the paper. Okay. I'm going to put a piece of tape here. Here, here, and down here. Okay. You're going to fold it down. Crease it. Fold it in. something on there. There we go. And I have grabbed a red bow, so we'll use that. We have geese flying over. <laughs> they say Merry Christmas. Give us some food. <laughs> okay. Look how lovely. Look. Isn't it neat? Okay. Let's, here, just put a sticky on there. A little post-it note. And there's our 
here's our next present. Okay, our next gift is a Star Wars uh, men's two-piece sleeping set. It's a t-shirt with little Star Wars <laughs> pants. All right, now we could put this in a gift box. I'm not, I'm not going to. I'm just going to wrap it just like, just like this. Let's see. Here's some pretty paper. Look at this. It says, Peace and Joy, Winter Wishes, Merry Christmas. It's a pretty dark blue. Let's do this one. Since it doesn't have solid sides, you're just going to have to kind of fold it over. Put this on the back here. So we're going to fold it over here. This is going to be fine. Let's see. We'll cut it um, right there. It's right in the middle. There. Now we're going to place a piece in the middle. Like that. And then we're going to do some here. And sides over here. It's kind of mushy so it's a little it's a little different. Use the same technique you just modify it as needed. Side, so we're not really worried about it. And a little 
bluish silver bow. Bluish greenish. Interesting color. Here we have it. A nice little present. separately. I was going to wrap them together, but let's um let's just do them separately. Let's start with this one. All right, so let's pick some paper. We'll go with the gold Happy Holidays again. And this is a small one. You can do it this way. Just make sure you have enough for this to cover the sides. These are these are cookware protectors and you put them between your pots and pans to keep them from getting scratched up. Um, they're the Croft and Chefs collection. It's a three-piece set and that's what the other box is too. It's just a larger, they're just larger than these. So again, we want enough to cover the sides. Alright. One last one. Okay. Assistant. <laughs> this is very curly paper. Okay. So we want to turn this over. Very big, so I'm just going to put one piece of tape there. And the sides. Oh, I may have cut it too short. Let's see. No, it'll work. Just barely. Same thing. Press it down and crease it. Ooh, that's pretty close too. <laughs> I 
I thought I was going to have to show you a trick. I'll tell you about it instead, okay? If you ever have a, a present where you don't have enough paper to cover a side like this, just cut a little strip of paper. I mean, it's not perfect, but it'll work. You just cut a little piece of the same color paper and just sort of insert it in here, and that will cover that open area right there. I've had to do that many times, and it's it saves having to cut a whole new piece of paper so you can still use the one that you have. You just cover that with a little strip and then just tape these two flaps to that strip of paper. Okay. How about a happy little gingerbread man on here? Here we have the little gingerbread man. Let's stick him on there. And we'll get a little bow. Here's a little green one. Oh, there we go. Nice little gift. So there's the first set of those little protectors. Now let's take care of the other one. So here we have from Croft and Chef's Collection the larger set. These would be for things like casserole dishes and things like that. So let's do this one. This is going to be our last one for today. And for this one I have some really pretty light blue paper with little white snowflakes on it. And little teal colored dots. It's really pretty, kind of vintage looking. We have enough, it's wide enough that we can put it in here lengthwise like this and have plenty of paper. I'm gonna make sure not to cut it too short this time. I almost cut it too short last time. Okay. I'll cut it about right there. Now we have to cut it this way. Let's see. Cut it here. Again, we're going to just fold this part over, make a crease here and here, fold it in, then you just crease it down here, there, fold it up and tape it. Same thing here. You fold this piece down, crease it right there, fold it in, crease it. And there we have it, there. We 
put a little snowman on there with all these, all the snow. red bow. Alright. So now we're going to put a little post-it note on here. hope that you enjoyed wrapping all of these gifts today. I really did. And we will come back and wrap some more really soon. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you again really soon.